the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Creator, we thank you for your goodness. As we bless this uh, site for the new data center, we ask you, first of all, to bless all the people who belong to this company. Give them good health. Secondly, may you bless the work that they'll be doing here, so that it may be for your greater glory and for the love of whoever will be touched by their services. And to God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit ourselves. The Lord bless this place and keep it safe and productive. May the Lord make his face to shine upon whoever will be here, and may he be gracious to all of us. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace, both now and forevermore. and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the is now and ever shall be world without end. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So it is with a lot of pleasure and I would say many, many months of waiting that this day has arrived for us. Uh, I'm very grateful to Catholic University for supporting us in this grateful to our staff who have also been tirelessly working towards this. We hope this will in the future become the most connected site in Kenya and certainly uh, you know without a doubt in, in East Africa if that, that, if that comes to be. Um, we're hoping to bring some of the very large names, you know, names we use every day without realizing it, the Googles, the Amazons of the world, uh, certainly all our Kenyan internet connectivity uh, partners. Uh, our big banks, um, Kennet, hopefully, as customers, so hope to serve them from uh, this location. We hope to grow, and with that, we hope uh, Catholic University will join us in that uh, journey as we go forward. We thank you very much, sincerely, from the bottom of our hearts, and we pray for the best. Thank you. Well, uh, today has uh, been for us, uh, we've just come from another function where for us is a Thanksgiving general occasion. Uh, we are here now and uh, I see this both as a welcome but also as a time also to give thanks. Um, because we like to welcome I call it. I think that's how we call it, what we call it. Some of us just say call it. Anyhow, we like to welcome I call it, you know, to be part of our bigger family of uh, Catholic University here. Uh, for a while we started wondering, uh, so what is this I call all about? Um, why are they taking so long? What is the problem? <laughs> now those questions are behind us. We see you're here and we are happy that you're on the ground. Uh, things are going to start working well. As a university, we appreciate our partners, our collaborators. Obviously, I think you understand that the university stands to benefit by you know, associating with people like yourself. There are benefits that accrue to you know, the university. But we also know and we hope that you also have benefit just by getting associated with us, that we actually add value to you, you know, and it's not just one side, but we are assured that you also um, will uh, have the same advantage. So we would like to wish you well, to welcome you, and, um, you know, we will be watching you as you go. And uh, as the, the minister said, that everything that is ever done around here will really be for the benefit of humanity. Uh, we certainly have values, and uh, part of the reason before we came to the position of MOU, we had to look to see uh, these people, what they are going to do, is that in keeping with what the institution is about. 
Is it something that's going to be in conflict with what we believe in, or is it something that is actually... And of course we approve you, which means we certainly believe in you, and therefore we would like to give you the freedom now to go ahead and do what you have to do. And so, karibu nyote. Practice our strength. Yes. <laughs> I hope farming is in your retirement. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, that's a good one, by the way. Right. Mm. What I understand is um, we have a private firm which is interested in um, investing in uh, a data center. The data center basically offers space for servers and um, they are ensuring that uh, they will always be up. We are always able to access your data at any point. And that fidelity is up to 99.99%. And um, um, it's a private venture, which makes it very exciting because there are many spin offs which can come from players and universities. Um, our students can train here, the opportunities for employment. There are about 15 companies coming here. And these companies. Uh, like have a lot of potential stand in helping training our students and also um, providing employment and the possibility of many other networks coming in. There could be opportunities for research for our students, here, especially the ones who are doing big data, uh, who want maybe to have runs of their data for more than a night or two nights. Uh, here you are very sure there's no interruption of power. <laughs> that is very characteristic of our grid. So these are some interesting, exciting things about it, and I think it's a very fast one of its time outside South Africa. So uh, <clears throat> we are building Kenya's first true carrier neutral data center. What carrier neutral means is you know, we build a data center. In the old world, you build a carriers would be carrier being a Safaricom or a Liquid Telecom would build a data center. They would provide data center facilities and also networks. In the new world, customers prefer to work in a carrier neutral data center simply because they want the options of using different carriers and not be stuck with one. So as they grow or their network strategy changes, they prefer to be in a carrier neutral data center. So they come and put their equipment here. Today they decide to the east of Kenya they want to work with Safaricom. To the west of Kenya they want to work with Jami Telecom. Uh, in Nairobi they want to work with uh, Frontier Optical Networks. So there are no carrier neutral data centers in Kenya. And this is really going to be the first true carrier neutral data center that uh, Nairobi will, will have. We are also going to be the site that has the maximum number of carriers present. Uh, Kenya has today 15 registered ISPs, operating ISPs, all 15 of them will be present in the data center. So from KPLC, Ketraco, Frontier Optical Networks, MTN, Vodacom, um, <coughs> Safaricom, Jami Telecom, I mean there's a fairly long list of um, carriers. And what we are doing is we are providing housing, carriers provide connectivity and our customers do um, you know, bring their, 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 their connectivity. So if I explain to you with our card, our name is icolo.io. I stands for you pick your internet provider, co-location is what we do which is provide the data center facilities and IO is my customers input output. So pick your internet provider, we do co-location, you bring your input output which is server, software etc. Et uh, that's how the, 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 the model is meant to work. We are building this in two phases, phase one is 42 racks, phase two is about 200 racks. Um, and then eventually as, as, as customer demand grows, we will keep adding new uh, sites, hopefully in the same uh, area. So, you know, when you build a data center, one of the most important things is location. You want to find a location that is secure, that has plenty of access to network, satisfy customer requirements. Catholic University is, is well positioned as a university first, it is you know, referred to as a fairly safe environment, well managed, students are well behaved. 
Um, we have IBM already on 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 the site, which makes it more interesting for our customers to believe that this is a good good uh, secure site. They have access to land, so if we grow, we can grow with them. Um, Karen as a location is great for us because it's away from CBD, but not really that far away. Um, and it provides, sort of, you know, from a disaster recovery perspective, a good option to a lot of our customers that are here. So, in many ways, this is a great uh, location for us. I couldn't have asked for a better site. So, the university, you know, one of the things that we are doing is we create jobs. So, at the beginning of this year, for example, there were three of us in the office. Now there are 12. And probably early next year, we'll be close to 30. All of these include, you know, engineers, electric, elect, electrical uh, background uh, folks, salespeople. You need people, you know, and for for the, you know, for the students of the university to be able to see what a state-of-the-art data center looks like, how it's run, it's quite important, and and that's you know I think the big value addition to to now also as the university evolves, as they go to more video online courses, as they start producing more material that is based online, they also need a repository for that information. Where they're going to put that? We are of course you know, an excellent choice for that because. Um, they're on site, you know, latency and things like that. We also then bring all these big connectivity guys to Catholic University. We don't pay for it. So in the future, when you do want to extend your networks, want to look at alternative supplies, well, they're right here. Um, so yes, there's quite a bit of value to the university too.